boom boom bam dee dee, a doom dum dee, a doom dum dee, do 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 do. Well, 65 long years of independence and from a great nation that is known to be loving and compassionate, it is time for us as Indians to spread the compassion amongst our fellow beings on the planet. Well, today on Heavy Petting Meet the Family, it's time to meet the Guptas who do just that. Let's go inside. Welcoming. Hey buddy, how are you? Hi. Sahil, what's this guy called? This is Droopy. Okay. And Droopy, do you have other friends as well? Yeah, he has 15 more friends. Oh! 15? Yeah. So we're gonna meet your family now, yeah. Droopy? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hello, you furball. So Sahil, this beautiful love story with so many apsos uh, began with your grandfather, is that right? Yeah. So my granddad, he used to have this apso, uh, Ghungru, when I was like... That's an unusual name, Ghungru. Yeah. Do you name him after the disco fake in Delhi? No, no, no. I don't think so. You don't think so? You don't know? You haven't asked him? Yeah, I've never asked okay, him. Okay, yeah. So he was there and after that, uh, once Ghungru passed away, then these guys got a boxer. His name was, ironically, Gulfam. My, my nani named him uh, Gulfam because everyone was like, how ugly he is and all that. Yeah. So then I was like, I want a dog of my own because like I would always go to my granddad's place and you know. Yeah. So then he got Coco. Okay. And Coco happens to be their dad and he passed away two months ago. Okay, how old was he? He was, uh, he w was going to turn 15. 15? So yeah. that's a good old yeah. age, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so he's the granddad and these are all Coco's offspring? Yeah. Okay, so now you've apparently divided them into three lots. Born in three different lots. Three, born in three different lots. Yeah. It's three sort of generations, yeah. so to speak. Three years. Three years. So tell me a little bit about that. So basically, uh, in 2006, I think, uh, Tara came. Uh, my mom got another Apso, female Apso. So Coco had finally found his mate. Yeah. And in 2009, uh, Tara gave birth to four dogs. Four, and then in 2010 again, and a lot of four and 2000, in November 2011, and a lot, and Droopy is from there. So that's, uh, give me the years again, nine? Ten and eleven. Ten and eleven. Yeah. Four, four, four. Yeah. Uh, so that's twelve. Yeah. Plus the others. Yeah. Wow, that's a big family now, yeah. isn't it? Apart from the Apsos, you also have a Labrador, yeah. is that right? Yeah. And how did that come to the picture? So, uh, Jackie came in 2010 and he was basically staying at a friend's PG. And those guys had to get rid of him. And, and uh, apparently some of the PG mates, they did not like dogs. So these guys just uh, threw him out and we guys sort of rescued him oh. from a nearby construction site. What about their behaviour patterns uh, in terms of three generations? Is there any difference between all three of them? Is there a hierarchy? Um, how does it work? If a guest comes, so they will attack. They, they are very, attack. They, yeah, very territorial. Yeah. yeah, because Apsos are like that. But especially the latest generation, these guys, uh, Droopy and, uh, and uh, Teddy and all these guys, these guys are slightly timid, they are more friendly. So you mentioned uh, that there's three different generations in them and the, the younger ones are very timid. What about the middle and the elder generation? Is there a difference in, in them as well? Both the generations are pretty aggressive. They, they have gone on their parents, so they are pretty aggressive. They are very territorial. They'll, they'll not welcome visitors. 
Yeah, they were a little, they were a little uncertain of us when we got in. I yeah. think they're now getting comfortable. So I think not really. No, <laughs> no. So I'm gonna, I still need to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they might end up snapping, and they're attacking a pack, yeah. don't they? Yeah. They just come in and. They... If they're alone, then they'll try to run away. Okay, so when you're there, then they feel a little more. No, that has no effect on them. It's basically if they're alone and if they see a stranger, then they'll just try to run away. But if they are together, then they feel invincible. Okay, so they're basically uh, packing yeah. together, and they think that is okay. Hmm, got to catch them alone then, mm -hmm. huh? Okay, uh, wh what about the family members? There's, you've got uh, family members as well. How's the interaction with them? Uh, do they have favorites? Uh, do they go to certain people? So, so all the dogs are very close to my mom. They're yeah. very close to my mom. So mom is the matriarch? Yeah. And what about your guys? Me, I'm, I like all of them. I try to interact a lot with them, but I'm normally working a lot and because I have Jackie in my room all the time so these guys can't come in my room because otherwise there's a war. Really? Yeah. So These guys hate Jackie. The lab doesn't yeah. get along with them yeah. at all? No, actually he tries to but these guys attack him. He's actually scared of these guys. Yeah? Yeah. yeah because they're a pack, right? Yeah. And he's all alone. Yeah. And uh, what about your grandfather? What is he? Uh, my granddad thinks my mom is mad. I am mad. <laughs> Wow, you've got one happy, cursive family going on here, don't you? Yeah. It's a beautiful unit. <laughs> so basically when they were born, they were that size, yeah. and now they've really grown, right? Yeah. Well, that's interesting because joeys, or baby kangaroos, are about an inch when they're born, and then finally they grow up to be these huge, massive marsupials. So let's find out a little more about animals. Did you know that a newborn kangaroo is still fundamentally a fetus? It has to wade through the mother's fur to reach her pouch, where it grabs onto her teeth. The baby kangaroo, or joey, remains attached to the teeth for four to five weeks. It is only after seven or eight months that the infant ventures outside the pouch, returning only to feed. Everybody, meet Teddy here, say hello to them. Teddy's also called gingerbread, and no, you can't eat him. I know he's really cute and you want to munch into him, but uh, it's not happening. Well, if you have been following heavy petting, know your breed, you will know that this breed here has got an amazing sense of smell and also of hearing. So they make for very good guard dogs. That's right, don't be fooled by their size. They will eat you up, mince you, if you try to enter their turf. On that thought, I think I'm going to take a short break and I'll be right back, so don't go anywhere. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.